I am Devlin Steele, Director of Education at Augusta Precious Metals. Inflation and interest rates will dominate the economic news cycle this week. Here's what we'll be watching in the coming days. Before we begin, remember to like this video and subscribe for more economic updates. The Labor Department will get the festivities started on Tuesday with the release of the Consumer Price Index for May. Projections are that monthly CPI rose at a rate of 0.2% last month, down from April's 0.4% pace. It's expected we'll see moderation in the annual rate as well. In April, year-over-year -year CPI came in at 4.9%, but economists expect that rate decelerated to 4.1% last month. Core CPI, which excludes food and energy prices, has been more stubborn recently, and that's not expected to have changed in May. Monthly core CPI is believed to have increased 0.4% in May, which would be identical to April's pace. Economists do expect to see a little moderation in the annual number, but just a little, 5.3% versus the 5.5% figure posted in April. The following day, Wednesday, the Labor Department is back with the Producer Price Index for May. The data is expected to show prices at the wholesale level actually fell 0.1% month over month in May, following a 0.2% increase in April. As for the year-over-year -year figure, it's projected that slowed to 1.5% last month from 2.3% in April. Presently, headline PPI is at its lowest level since January 2021. Annual core PPI is believed to have increased at a rate of 2.9% in May, moderating from 3.2% in April. Last, but certainly not least, on Wednesday, the Federal Open Market Committee will announce its decision on what's next for interest rates at the conclusion of a two-day policy meeting. It's believed the Fed will choose to pause rate hikes this week, but raise rates by a quarter point when it meets again in July. According to CME Group's Fed Watch tool, the probability of the central bank choosing to pause rate hikes this time around is nearly 75%. That's it for now. Join us again later this week when we'll be back to recap some of the bigger developments. This is Devlin Steele for Augusta Precious Metals, signing out.